I'm thinking about it in terms of what is the problem I'm trying to solve? What is the piece of art that I want to make? What is the unique solution I want to come up with to a particular thorny challenge? Hello and welcome to the Innovative Mindset Podcast. I'm your host, Isolde Trachtenberg. On the show, I interview peak performing innovators in the creative, social impact, and earth conservation spaces. I also bring you ideas and techniques that you can grab and use to set goals, create, and unlock your potential for changing yourself and the world. And now let's get to the show. Hello, and welcome to the Innovative Mindset Podcast. I'm your host, Isolde Trachtenberg. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. This is a great day today for me. It is blue skies, sunny, and uh, not too hot, which is great. I, I dread August in New York City, but there it is. This week, I am talking about ways to spark creativity. And I've mentioned things like yes and and metaphorical thinking and things like that and brainstorming and and the opposite of brainstorm or negative brainstorm is a better way of putting it. And today I want to talk about a technique that I love to do and have done for years, and that is vision boarding. Now, people who have heard of vision boards sometimes go, oh, that's so woo woo. And it actually isn't. Right. It's a vision board is not just a, oh, this is what I want to manifest in my life kind of thing, even though that's cool. Do not get me wrong. I think that using a vision board for for uh, figuring out dreams and, and setting goals is beautiful. Like if one of the goals that you have is to go to Greece for vacation while putting up some uh, images that you see either online or, or cutting them out of magazines or something like that of like the Parthenon would be amazing, right? That That's a way or beautiful Aegean seas and Mediterranean sea turquoise waters would also be beautiful. So it's a way of reminding yourself visually in this case of something that you want, of something that you want to strive for or something that you'd like to think about or imagine. So exactly what is a vision board? A vision board is just what it sounds like. It's things usually that you can see that you want to envision or incorporate into your life, right? So you can take what I normally do is I take a piece of paper uh, um, and I usually use different colors. Like sometimes it's yellow, sometimes green, sometimes blue. It doesn't have to be. It can be a a piece of newspaper that you cut out. doesn't matter. What matters is that it's a piece of paper on which you will paste or glue or even staple, if you'd like, different facets of what you want to bring into your life, right? So, for example, for me, one of the things that I would really like to be able to do that I used to be able to do that I can't do anymore is a handstand. I cannot do a handstand anymore without getting super dizzy. So I want to work on that. I want to actually get to the point where I am more comfortable doing it and can do it unassisted, right? So right now I can put my legs up against the door frame and, and kind of do a handstand for a little while, but it's not it's not for long and it's not that well. So if I wanted to really put that as a goal out there for myself, then I would maybe cut out a picture out of a yoga journal magazine or something of somebody standing on their hands. And that would be something that when I see it, it reminds my brain that that's something I want to be thinking about. Or uh, I've also done the same thing with my pets, with my critters. I put them on my vision boards to remind me to think about them. Not that I ever have trouble thinking about my cats or whatever, but just to remind myself. Before I moved to New York, I had a little picture of the Empire State Building to remind myself that that was a goal of mine, right? That it was part of my vision board. It's not anymore, right? And vision boards can change when you achieve a goal or when you've satisfied a particular set of desires, you can remove them from your vision board. So the Empire State Building is no longer on my vision board. Now, the things that I have on my vision board, I'd love to go see bioluminescent algae like uh, on the Maldives or something like that. That's sitting in my vision board because that's a goal that I have. So when I'm thinking about 
using a vision board to spark creative thinking, I'm thinking in a slightly different way way, right? I'm thinking about it in terms of what is the problem I'm trying to solve? What is the piece of art that I want to make? What is the unique solution I want to come up with to a particular thorny challenge? And when I think of it that way, I start thinking about and looking at magazines and pictures online of things that might address the challenge, right? So what I'm doing is I'm looking for maybe a quote or photos or sayings or anything that I can incorporate into the vision board that the subject of which is this challenge I'm trying to meet or problem I'm trying to solve. That's a really good way of looking at it because it lets me encapsulate all of my thinking about it and make it not just in my head, right? One of the things that that we humans need is we need multi-sensory access to whatever it is we're trying to achieve. Just thinking about it is great, but making it physical, making it more visceral, like a picture or a quote or something that you can hear. I also record saying for myself, sayings for myself to remind myself that this is stuff I want to be thinking about. So that's another way of looking at all of this is I'm not trying to do all of it in my head, right? I'm trying very much to do it a slightly different way. I'm trying to bring in my other senses, which is why I'm using a vision board. If a vision board can spark new ideas, new ways of looking at a particular challenge or a particular problem, then why not use it? And one of the cool things about it is that if you put it on a piece of paper, generally you're going to use pictures or you're going to use quotes or something like that. And that's great. That is a terrific way of doing all of this. But, or rather, and one of the things that you can do if you make your vision board digital, you can add audio files to it, you can add videos to it, you can do all sorts of things that that allow you to think about the problem in a way that is substantive and good, and also that prompt new thoughts, new ideas. That's a huge part of this, right? You want to be prompting new thoughts and new creative ideas and taking in, kind of filling the well, as Julia Cameron says, taking in new input, new data, new images, new sounds will allow your brain to synthesize them and out will pop unique solutions, which I've always thought is super cool. That's a really good way of looking at all of this, is that you're taking in more input, colors, lines, images, things, places, whatever it is, and they will sort of jumble up in your brain, but they will also, in out of that stew, will come some potential solution. So I use the app Notability, and I believe that there's an Android version. I know there's an iPhone version because that's what I use it on. And what's really cool about Notability is that it allow, and I'm not affiliated with them or anything. I just use the app, but it allows you to add in text. You can draw as far as, you know, different color pencils or whatever on your iPad or iPhone. And you can add in audio files and you can add in images. And I believe the latest version even allows you to add in video. So you can create this note that is a vision board that you can come back to again and again, that has all of these different prompts. And that's really what a vision board is. It prompts you, a vision board prompts you to look at things differently because it's giving you stimuli like images, like audio files, like sayings that will help you approach the problem you're trying to solve in different and unique ways. And that is, that's a creative skill. That's what you're building there when you're doing that. You're allowing the input of these different visual and auditory stimuli to let you and give you the ability to solve problems, to come up with cool ideas, to be innovative and creative because they spark those thoughts and ideas by being in and on your mind. So I would love to encourage you to think about creating your own vision board, right? Here's what you can do. If you've got, uh, if you want to do it for sort of personal, these are my goals and stuff, figure out what your goals are 
and write them all down for yourself. Your goals are to travel. Maybe your goal is to travel to South America and see the Nazca lines. That's another one of my goals. Maybe your goal is to write a book. Maybe your goal is to get a kitten. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, here's what you can do. Get yourself a piece of paper and cut out a picture of the of one of the images of the Nazca lines. If you don't know what the Nazca lines are, there are these uh, amazing, huge images, car, sort of carved, replaced, stones replaced in the shapes of animals and symbols. And what's really cool about them is that you can only tell what those symbols and animals are if you're way above them, like a thousand feet in the air or something like that. Other than that, they look just like lines of stones. But when you get above them, you get to actually see the pictures that they make. And I think that's super cool and I love it. And so that's one of the things I want to, one of the other places I want to visit in addition to the Maldives is the Nazca lines. So, so you, you know, take a picture of it or, or uh, find a Google search, you know, Google search and then go Nazca lines, take a, take a screenshot or whatever, print it out, put it on your vision board. Uh, you can staple, tape, glue, it doesn't matter. And let's say you want to, uh, paint a painting. You want to start working in watercolors. Well, maybe take a picture of a watercolor set or a painting or something like that and put it on there. If you want to uh, get a new job, find an image of the career you want or the job you want and put that on your vision board. Whatever it is that you want to generate and spark creative thinking about, creative ways to solve that problem, to achieve that goal, to get that job, Put it on your vision board and then allow yourself the opportunity to let those stimuli, that stimulation from those visuals work in your subconscious to give you ways to think up cool and unusual and unique and creative ways to achieve those goals. And if you decide you want to do it uh, again to be creative, that's one way. If you decide you want to do it for other more personal goals uh, rather than than professional goals, that's also another great way to use that vision board. And you can make it on paper or you can save resources and make it on an app called like, like Notability or one of the other apps where you can insert images and then you can have it on your phone available to you at any time, right? I'm such a nerd that I make my vision boards and then I have a laminator at home and I laminate them. <laughs> so I have all my vision boards that I've ever made. Well, actually, since I got the laminator, so I'd say for the last 11 or 12 years, they're all together. And some of them, some of the images on there have stayed the same, like to, to keep my good relationship with my husband. I have a picture of him on that vision board. I have a picture of my critters on that vision board. I've been wanting to see the Nazca lines forever. So they have always been on <laughs> my vision board. So but as I achieve some of these goals, then I remove, you know, I'll create another one and I sort of have an archive of these vision boards because I like to go back sometimes and look and see what have I achieved of the goals I set for myself. I used to have a, a uh, write a book. Well, I've now written six books and I'm about to publish books seven and eight this summer. So bing, bang, boom, there it is. I've achieved that goal. I don't need to have that on my vision board anymore because the right to write the first book, I've achieved it. Some of the other goals that I have, I haven't achieved. They are still on the vision boards. But again, as I achieve old ones, new ones come in. And as you solve one problem and you face another one, or as you achieve one creative goal and you face another one, put that into your vision board. Make that be something that you do something about. It's really cool way, an easy way to spark that creative thinking, to build those skills, and to come up with unique solutions to whatever problems you're trying to solve. Whether or not you're trying to change your life or change the entire world by coming up with the best new vegan product or the best new conservation uh, process or something like that, do that, put that in your vision board, and you're going to be amazed at the kinds of ideas you get just by having those vision boards in your life. All right. I hope that you have enjoyed today's episode of the Innovative Mindset Podcast. And if you want to do more work, <laughs> like work from work, if you want to do more work around vision boards and around goal setting, I have opened up my coaching practice again. I'm taking new clients. So not too many new clients, but a few new clients. So if you want to book a discovery call with me to see how I might be able to help you set goals, make them realistic and make them doable and achievable, 
And if you, you know, if you want, I, I had a client recently reach out to me and said, I just need someone to hold me accountable. And I went, yeah, I can do that. I can hold you accountable for the goals that you are setting. So we're working on setting her goals and then I'm her sort of accountability partner. And it's a great way if you want to, if you want to get some coaching around setting goals and achieving them, it's a really good way to do it. Uh, but anyway, the, the, the little link to, to setting up a complimentary, a free to you discovery call with me is right in the show notes. Feel free to do that. I'd love to get to know you and what your goals and ideas are. And if you don't know what they are, then I'd love to work with you to help you identify them and eventually achieve them. Until next time, this is Isolde Trachtenberg for the Innovative Mindset Podcast. As always, reminding you to be bold, be creative, and most of all, be kind. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Please subscribe to the podcast if you're new, and it would mean the world to me if you told a friend about it. Today's episode was produced by Isolde Trachtenberg and is copyright 2022. As always, please remember this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Past performance does not guarantee future results, although we can always hope. Until next time, remember to be bold, be creative, and most of all, be kind. Thank you.